off. That, that's hot then. <laughs> that is, that gets hot. Top of the stairs, I bet that'll be higher now. 17 degrees up the top of the stairs, look. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world Good afternoon guys, welcome back to this very very cold Saturday 17th of December Freezing cold UK at the moment Minus 5 and 6 at night, up to 8 it's just now Saturday, just coming up to dinner time, the 17th. Uh, I thought I'd do a bit of a review of the the Chinese diesel heater heating our house up. Um, obviously it's been about three weeks, two and a half, three weeks since we've had it running. And i tell you what a, what a god save that's been. Really, really has, guys. But, you know, we had a, one situation uh, the other night when it was minus seven, eight outside. The, the, um, the central heating went down. We had the central heating on about comes on about nine ten o'clock because we've had that running earlier on to keep the house warm and uh, the central heating one come on for whatever reason trying to mess about mess about couldn't get it to come on that night and uh, if we hadn't had that it would have been freezing it's just about to start to fire up I've just fired it up just to show you because obviously it's only dinner time you can hear it now the pump in a minute or two that'll start firing up so pros and cons guys electric side of it has been great because we've got that little uh, regulator which I'll put a link in the below 19 pound no 22 pounds sorry it was 22 pound they were 19 pound 50 but since everybody's got on the bandwagon with these things they've gone up now to 22 and 24 pound for the little regulator which I'll show you in a second or two where it is I was running it to begin with with the uh, 12 volt battery which again one of the nights it was only for about half an hour we had a power cut which we don't normally get in the UK here they've been threatening it we're gonna have power outages obviously you guys over in the states and where it's uh, where you have power outages a lot we obviously got the battery back up so the battery was on it running it um, just put the battery on two cro crocodile clips and away to go it was back up and running again so twice we've had uh, this as a backup um, once when the central heating went down and obviously the second time when we had a power outage but that wasn't on, wasn't for long but I soon got this rolling so um, it's running off the mains just a, a cable which runs around at the moment which I want to get it a bit better runs around and into the house uh, and then runs off the uh, the power supply which I'll show you in a minute um, which I'm going to get that better after because of where the hot tubby uh, which isn't running at the moment I'm going to put a power switch there so we'll have the cable running from there and then the backup is uh, the 12 volt battery downside with the battery is that because they do use quite a bit of battery power 12 volt battery power uh, you've got to have at least 12.1 12.2 volts in um, if it's a lead acid battery uh, so you need to have a battery charger on virtually all the time ticking over charging the battery up as well as obviously keeping uh, the heater running so we, we we tend to have the battery charge running permanently feeding the the battery to keep the, the volts up um, but I'll just show you now quickly where it is so that there guys is the transformer it's a 30 amp uh, obviously taking in from mains 249 to 12 volt transformer I'll just quickly show you on here this is on Amazon I think they're called a uh, Padacy now you see it look 12 volt 30 amp they are now £22.99 there you go they've gone up I think mine was only £19 when I got mine and all it is is that there we've got the power coming in which is supplying in which is into there the mains and obviously we've got the uh, plus and minus going back out on 12 volt and I've just got it on crocodile clips crocodile clips clipping into each other as you can see so if we do have a power outage I can just quickly swap to the battery the easy as anything I think that's better that little fan's going all the time so that's there obviously tucked away in, 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 under there in the, in the shelter of the hot tub keeps it uh, away from the rain so this works we've got this little old uh, dog box that is a little old um, dog kennel box so what I'm going to do now is just take this uh, box off and just show you the, the, the uh, main uh, diesel eater itself. 
And there you go guys, that's with the uh, the actual <laughs> dog kennel box was taken off. And uh, that, I've had some comments saying that noisy, what about the neighbours? Can you hear that when I walk over here? And that's with no cover on. There's the neighbours there. You can hardly hear it once that box is over it, it shields it down. I put this, the, the flute back on now just for, so you can see it. And that's all that is, is that blows onto there. So you've got the black uh, outlet funnel going into uh, B and Q, bit of ducting, and then into a, at the camper van, as you know, um, a vent, into that plastic. It's plastic I cut up and drilled an hole in, and that's going into the, the toilet window. So, and that's all it is, just that unit there. You've got the air intake, the main air intake blowing over. That's the air intake going in. That obviously blows over the fins. The exhaust is the worst bit. I had to put that bit of plate there to keep the heat off this hot tub top. That's been, that's done that fine. Um, the only other downside is obviously you can see the controller there. Well, the controller is outside all the time. What I have found is uh, it's only three wires on there, so like a mains three wire, you could uh, extend that uh, um, controller like you would have in the vans. Obviously, this is all the idea. This is from our camper vans, um, our crib vans, and um, the actual controller for the heat is actually in the van. The night heater might be at the back of the van, might be you know underneath the the um, seats and everything but um, then the heat of the van it'll get up to temperature and then it'll obviously calm down this is running flat out all the time so that's the downside because that controller for the heat is outside so if we can get that controller off them three extend that cable which is easy as anything run that inside the house then that would once we get up to 18 20 22 degrees inside the house that would go down then and save on fuel fuel wise though as i said before when it's temperatures like this, I really don't care to be honest with you. Been used about 10, 14 pound a week in fuel where we've had minuses, you know, sort of minus temperatures we've had. And all it is inside here, I'll just quickly show you. As we come in now, this is just gone, as you know, it's coming up to 15 degrees in here now in the kitchen area. And that's where the actual the vent comes through, just in that where the window would normally be, just drilled through. It's just a, a spare vent I've had from the camper. Obviously here in the toilet, we're up to 12 degrees now. It's only, obviously there's no eating or nothing on with afternoon at the moment. Um, not down the hallway here. We're up to 15 degrees, 15 degrees. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, we're starting to lift in the temperature. There's no eating on, that's been off all morning. And obviously top of the stairs, I bet that'll be higher now. 17 degrees up the top of the stairs look up to now already so yeah as you can see um brilliant kit really and if you keep this door open we, we, what we tend to do at night time now as we come in at night is shut the kitchen door keep this open here all the way down obviously the whole way and then it boosts boosts up the temperature here up to about 20 22 degrees within no time we tend to leave all the doors up, upstairs open then um if you had a big old Victorian house, it'll be ideal because they are cold. It, obviously, the all <coughs> stairs landing sort of areas are cold, so this would really boost it up for you. Um, and um, but here, well insulated house, it's uh, taking the temperature up without the central heating on. So let's just have another look outside. Back outside, you have got this little remote, which on this particular one you have a remote with it, which is you can take the temperature up and down. So if this was inside, it'd be ideal. You could take it. At the moment it's at um, 35 degrees that will go up to on there um, and with it being outside in that box there I found it won't go no more than about 18 19 degrees so that's as far as it goes because you're outside when it's been minuses um, if we can get that controller inside then you can control it with this and it'll go up and down now because if I took this down now just a few clicks to take it down and you'll find that on the front there noisy probably There you go. The canary's starting to kick down. That's now taking it down to uh, 18 degrees. Which then, because it's obviously the heat of the machine here, so it doesn't give it a true, true reading. 
as you can see it's gone down now so if I just boost that back up again and if you had that controller in the house you could control it better and it'd be a bit more economical but um, yeah there you go that's going back up again now so very compact little thing it is that though that's the downside as well that there is, is quite hot the rest of it's all okay this gets quite hot here on that bit I mean if you're really running them off grid which we do with the vans you know you know in the obviously uh, camper van world off grid you can even link these to for your hot water so you have like a little uh, a little uh, radiator in front of it exchange heat exchanger so the blower goes to the heat exchanger you have a little electric 12 volt pump uh, going to a um, tank water tank and you could have hot water as well free hot water so you'd be doing both so it's brilliant um, I, I recommend them definitely recommend them especially as a backup and if you're living off grid well you can have hot water and you could have obviously heating if you had a little cabin or the likes of I'm thinking of doing anything that there we're just doing a, a granny annex for my mom there that's an old garage and that is obviously a very small unit <laughs> I'm gonna run run hot run the um, heating in there off one of them and down to the garage we're gonna set this up down in the garage as well which I'll show you in a minute too so uh, let's go and have a look what the garage setup is so just quickly guys before I move it down there all you do to move it to down to the garage when I'm going down there the same time I'll probably get a second one so I've got two is just unconnect the funnel from there unconnect the two crocodile clips that's all I've got it done so I've got that on the crocodile clip so I can take it up and move it around easy from there undo that from that one to that one and then I can put it back onto battery battery power down there now which I'll uh, show you the setup down there so guys just before I fire it up because it's only temporary obviously mainly use it up at the house up there so if you just bring it down here temporary which it just goes onto there as you can see I've got an exhaust extension exhaust so get the fumes out which is clamped on there got the heat shielder there to keep it away from the tools and everything and it goes out the, the roof which I'll show you in a bit so before I fire it up in here now we're on battery power we're on the mains power uh, temperature in here is zero to one literally just just over zero zero one point six in it two zero <laughs> it's cold that's all i know so uh, let's fire it up then and uh, see what happens So five minutes in now guys literally starting to come up see the bars there we're on the green we're on the red soon saying in here is seven degrees in here these are always a bit off to be honest see what I mean about the wires there's only three wires you could easily extend that um, you know pull that back extend the wires take that, that only two screws in there that comes off you can move that uh, controller easy how quiet that is though oh that's lovely and warm <laughs> give it in a few more minutes but as you can see where the exhaust runs no gases nothing coming from there it's all the way up there got this heat shielding which is off the cobra actually when i built the cobra uh, the heat shielding from the exhaust of the cobra so that's what that is a bit of spare the exhaust is uh, extended exhaust piece i think it's about 18 quid off ebay that's all that was see if I can find the link for that as well for you and there you have it's running Let's leave it running for a bit see what uh, temperature we get up to right, guys it's been uh, 20 minutes now since I fired that up in there obviously I've shut the door it's not open that's I'll just quickly before we go in that's where the exhaust is just kicking out up on this uh, roof here and you can touch that look it's not even red hot got that heat shield in there just obviously because of the plastic gutter in there and the roof but it's all shielded up but that isn't even hot that end and uh, my thoughts are on the exhaust because that radiates heat in there as long as you've got no gas leaks on it which we haven't that's that's heat as well going inside Let's have a look wow you can feel the heat already <laughs> from what it was zero before so there it is plodding away like something about this exhaust got the carbon monoxide there just in case um that radiates heat this is red hot here now but once you get up here 
That's all right, there you can touch all that, see? So that's radiating heat off as well. So is that there? That's hot. Wow. What are we up to? Let's have a look. Ten degrees. So ten degrees in about 15, 20 minutes. Let's just double check that with the old checker. 12.1. There you go, 12.1 degrees. So that's the little Chinese diesel eater tuning away for the house and a quick change over with the leads to 12 volt for the battery rather than the mains. There's a little telltale for the tank now look on the fluid side. And the exhaust going out. And it's nice and toasty and warm in here now. Oh that's lovely. <laughs> you, you hear it going up? That that's hot then. <laughs> that is that gets hot. So guys, I think that's about it. Just a review, as I said, where we're using it in the garage and in the house. And uh, good little thing that is, really. Got to have one in here permanently as well. What I'll do is tidy that exhaust up, so it's uh, a lot tidier, shortening. Take that out more outside, shorten down here. Um, but obviously, it's only for a few months of the year here in the UK that we'll need it. My motto is though with it is that or why I like them is if I have an ivy in the van, in our van, our off-grid van, if uh, the uh, heater goes down, these five or eight kilowatts, they say they're eight, but they're only five, it depends how you program them in the little controller, there's obviously the pump going faster or slower. Um, if mine went down in the van and I had to get another one, I'd just rub one of these, can I? Just take one of these out, so all I do is take, that, take the screws out of there and there's the, the motor, then we're away to go. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you like this bit of review. Don't forget to subscribe, press that button, and we'll catch you on the next one somewhere different tomorrow or the next time. <laughs>